For those families who lost their homes in the Creek Fire, Christmas presents may be tough to afford this year. But as our Kirsten Mitchell shows us tonight, local law enforcement and first responders once again coming to the rescue. Despite the empty lots and burned trees, the Christmas spirit is still very much alive here at the Creek Fire Burn Zone. You can see a Christmas tree is now standing tall at Crestman's, a sign of hope and of the holidays. Before dawn, Santa's helpers were hard at work. Members of the Fresno County Sheriff's Office and American Ambulance took their list and checked it twice, wrapped the gifts with care, and handed them off to Santa to give to eight deserving families impacted by the Creek Fire. Thank you Merry so Christmas. Much. Just trying to make some memories for them, uh, bringing some cheer to them um, in what has been a very tough year. Uh, lots of things going on, um, and of course the fire being uh, the most pressing for them. Uh, so we just wanted to, to bring some holiday spirit to them. It's part of the annual Heroes and Helpers program. Families could also get a box filled with food, thanks to Sierra High School senior Haley Reyna, who's filling a need for her senior project. I saw how hard it was, and I thought, well, if they're not having homes, and I mean, I know just even with the coronavirus, um, people being unemployed, I thought that giving food is just an extra step to helping those people out who need that help. One of the families who received food was the Hicks, who, like many, are falling on hard financial times. We got evacuated. We were out for 14 days, so it, it tore us up, drained all my savings. We still got our house. But everything I had saved up got pretty much drained out of my account. So. A deputy found some gifts. You guys want some books? Yeah. And a coat for them too. Yeah. I'll eat books. The point of Christmas is always family to begin with, so hopefully, you know, that point still gets across to a lot of people, and I hope the children have good memories at least. On Sunday, there will be another food distribution event right here in front of the CVS in Prather. It starts at 2 p.m. and will go as long as supplies last. Reporting in Fresno County, Kirsten Mitchell, KC24, local news that matters.